Hi you guys, it's your girl Nanjo. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead, take this little finger, hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell so you know whenever I post a video. So really quickly, I want to talk about Formula One. Um, really not even the Formula One itself, just the guest celebrities that were there on Sunday. Um, so okay, my husband is a huge Formula One fan. And I have to admit that I'm about that wifey life of just sort of Sitting in the background, looking at the cars go round and round, and him be super excited about pit stops and all that stuff, and, and I'm just like, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, that's great. But on Sunday, which I don't know much about Formula One, so if I if you are a huge Formula One fan and, and, and you're a big fan of it, I'm super sorry that I'm so clueless. But um, really short video, I just wanted to talk about how this Formula One was actually in Miami, and apparently since Formula One has been around for decades, you know, like, that's only happened, like, 74 times. This is the 74th time. And it was just, like, Will I Am and LL Cool J were disc jockeying. There were, like, NFL-style, you know, football-style cheerleaders, you know? And the chick from Fast and Furious was there. Ludacris was there. Serena and Venus Williams was there, and I just was like, whoa, oh my god, this is amazing. I even think Vin Diesel was there. Um, so, yeah, it was just, that, that was pretty much it. And so, and Gale, um, Will I Am was like, um, how, how do you call it? He was, he was directing the orchestra, and the orchestra was really beautiful. And there was this woman named Gale, a singer named Gale, who sang the national anthem. And she actually did a pretty good job. My husband was like, I hate when they do, you know, they do too much. And she was really good. Like, I actually sang along with the national anthem. And I haven't sang the national anthem. In a, I mean, I'm American. I live in France. But, I mean, I grew up basically in elementary school. We were required to sing the national anthem every day. Um, I'm sorry, not the national anthem. I'm sorry. In school, we were required to say the Pledge of Allegiance every day. At every sports event, we were required to do the National Anthem. And that's probably the last time. Like, picture a little, you know, <laughs> nine or ten-year-old Nash. That's probably, like, the last time I remember actually just, like, actively singing the National Anthem. Maybe, I feel like I went to a basketball game, like an NBA game, maybe back in... It's been a long time. Maybe high school? Before I graduated high school? Like 2008? Something like that? That's probably the last time I've really sang the National Anthem. But anyway, I sang along and I know, like, even me, who I don't consider myself to be extremely patriotic, I mean, I love my country, but I'm not just like, oh, America, ball the flag, I'm running around, here to see the day. you know, I'm not like that. But um, I thought it was great. I thought the celebrities were cool. So if you guys saw that, let me know what you think in the comments. Were you also as surprised as me about the celebrities that were there? Anyway, that was all I wanted to say. So uh, if you're new to this channel, again, please do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know whenever I post a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you next time. Bye.